Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide. We're going to continue our Let's Play as Brasilia, the warmonger to end all warmongers in this game. I've christened them to uh, be known forever as Space Attila. And uh, we're going to continue where we left off there. And we just bombarded a ripper with our city of Manuel, which should give us a little bit of... Should give us a little bit of science there, a little bit of diplomatic capital as well. Yep, because one of them's from a virtue, from a might virtue right here, where we get 100% of the alien life forms based strength. And then we get the diplomatic uh, capital from our trait. Actually, let's take a look at our traits right now. Let's see what we've got. We maxed out this one. We've started this one, we've started this one. I did that for a change in an experiment to uh, see if I can get more agreements out of people and then, in doing so, generate more diplomatic capital. Speaking of which, let's browse all potential agreements just for kicks. Integer's pretty new to us, so maybe we can get skunk works out of them or something. All right. This agreement looks promising. Let's make another deal. Lass uns also reden. This also looks good. No? What? No? Come on! Was schlägst du vor? How about this one? Lass uns also reden. Oh, this would be good. Political parties. I'll take a little bit more diplomatic capital from you, my dear. Also, it's kind of pointless, though. It's three for three. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's change our relationship to cooperating if we can manage that. Oh, we definitely can. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Now let's view active agreements. So we're going to get uh, double back from that now, and we're going to get, yeah, we'll get better deals all around on those. Very good. Let's browse some potential agreements here. Let's try this one. This fits right in with our uh, world view here. Oh. Barry, why don't you love me? How about this one, Barry? Thank you. Goodbye. I think we just went up in respect with him just by uh, signing an agreement. Excellent. Anyway. We don't want to do agreements long term, we want to murder everyone, but for the time being we're uh, making friends and playing nice until we can get to that point. Anyways, let's see what we should do next here. Let's try building a Fraxite mine there, seems reasonable-ish. Alright, you need to get out of there. I feel like that guy died at one point. No, it's probably a different one. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep moving. I don't think we've actually had any uh, sort of hostile people yet. The Chinese are annoyed that we aren't trading with them. Okay. And we've got our, uh, got our thing here. Got covert operations. All right, so let's do propaganda for now. If we leave these guys here, they'll uh, help towards, uh, I think it's 2% per agent, so it'll be 6% less unhealthiness. That's nice. As is, this is causing us penalties, but usually you can fight through the penalties in this game without too much trouble. Uh, let's go ahead and let's spy on these guys. Let's spy on Central... And let's I guess we'll spy on art. Ooh, no, that's a bad idea. That city's gonna flip around. You know what? Let's uh, go ahead and spy on the Germans. Space Germany, let's spy on them. And we get a free affinity point. Ooh. Or we get Plus one production and plus one energy from every strategic resource. Not bad either. Let's go ahead and grab this. 
grab our free affinity level. Um, I'm gonna have to go with purity for now, just to, because that's the path we've chosen. All right, no upgrades. Doesn't look like it. Eight for that one. Melee Marines. Okay, well, we're getting there. We're going to have to start getting some other affinity points, though. Whatever we choose to get. And we don't actually have the tech for what I was going to go and build. Okay, I thought we were there. Apparently I was wrong. Do we have any copper in this city? This is a good building, but... Be nice to have copper. Um, be nice to have imp tile improvements too. So let's do that for now. Focus on apparently nothing. Yeah, tile improvements around the capital is a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and shell that. You guys poke around, explore a little. Cycle through our turns. I guess we'll heal you up since we can't do anything with you yet. And then we'll get back into the water when we feel it is safe. We still... So we have four cities total. We should probably consider getting more settlers. Intruder alert. Oh, they actually attacked my city. You cheeky little devils. And these guys are continuing to try to blockade. Have... Do we have the explorer? No. Let's actually purchase an explorer here. We'll do that. Let's get a rocket battery there. We've That city's seen a lot of action. Was ever ruled by trade. Yeah, that looks good, Barry. I'll take some diplomatic capital. That'll help me with my uh, tributes. Maybe some agreements. So these are... Well, it's turn 88. And I've got four cities, so I'm doing good. Can keep an eye on things there for now. Okay. Let's go cooperating with Space China if they'll let me with the Pan Asian Cooperative. What do they think of me? Not really. So their opinion of me is deteriorating. The Kaivaran Protectorate's opinion of me is also deteriorating. Oh, trade route slot available, excellent. So, didn't we have... No? Okay. Well, we'll have to get one soon, then. I don't have it set up to queue things up. Okay. What do we want to do in this city, then? What do we want next? Um, I'm going to go with a recycler. Move ahead one. Blast it. You go on ahead and get out there. You can actually start sniping the hydro coral there. That's excellent. That will still work for the science. We'll want to get uh, some sort of cities down here at some point, even though we're going to have to. Let's take a look at her attributes. I'm curious as to why she is getting so uppity. Because in this game, I've been fairly active. It's just mostly against aliens. I should get that Engineering Corp agreement from her. So Precision. Yeah, this is a really good trait, and I've picked it up in the previous game where I was trying to play as Brazil, and I failed miserably. Uh, let's see here. A leader with this trait will like or dislike another colony based on how many military units their military kills on average. Okay, so 
Oh, is it military units? Okay. I'm not sure if that stacks with aliens or counts as aliens or not, because I've killed a lot of aliens. Did... did <sighs> Fudge. Well, that was a waste of energy. I didn't think he would go out to sea. Uh, well, whatever. Build an explorer. It's only going to be three turns. They're not that expensive. It's just really annoying. All right. 56 science, three diplomatic capital. I'll take it. Dorado is done. All right, Citadel on my capital. What do we want to do with you? Probably got a thorium reactor set up. This will actually give me a lot of diplomatic capital and it only takes 13 turns. Let's get a trade convoy though. I think we have more immediate concerns. We got a mine set up there. Continue to pick away at that. So she doesn't like my virtues plan. It's interesting because they seem to be fairly cohesive to me. And now it's zooming off elsewhere here. Very good. We shaved some terms off of robotics with the... Uh, these attacks on the aliens. Oh, what the hell? The hydro corals disappeared. It wasn't nearly dead. Maybe somebody else got it, but that's weird. All right, so four turns. Well, we can go out there and uh, make a bed near the shells. Or we can finish the uh, mine for the minerals there. Oh, the aliens are somehow now friendly. Interesting how that works. Three turns to a bed. Three turns to a mine. And uh, Tiangong is a coastal city. All right. And you guys are ready to establish networks. Very good. Go ahead and get those set up, folks. And Susan. Susan, Susan, Susan. What are you doing with our relationship, Susan? You're sanctioning me. All right. Well, at some point, we're going to have to watch for, for her sending military troops. doing something. Uh, let's get another title hunter here. For now we'll just uh, skulk around the northern sea there. Send this guy over. Oh, we have two trade slots available. Well, let's uh, go to Manmal. And you. Can you safely get your butt down there without doing any stupid things? Looks like it. Let's get a colonist. That's going to take four turns. I know Susan's uh, slowly getting charged up for war there, but uh, I think we can still get another colonist out. Oh, and we have an alien nest. All right, well, we'll have to escort that settler when it comes. All right, well, Space Germany's not going to give me jack in terms of uh, agreements. But for now, I'll take it. Staying on good terms with them is always nice. And we just barely didn't kill that guy. And for this, 
this. Yeah, actually trading with them is probably the best option until we get uh, the fences. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and trade with Space China there. Maybe that'll improve our relations with them. What do they got here? Based on how much intrigue, based on how many new outposts and cities we create. Okay. Enterprising. Trade, how many international trade routes they maintain. Okay, interesting. Basically, they'll like us if we're bigger, which is kind of contradictory to the way you normally play Civ, but personality traits kind of override a lot of things all right well that's our turn she likes my offensive military activity very good citadel will create a colonist in a couple turns the first five minutes all right, very good. Got another affinity level for our supremacy. I'm thinking still, like I was mentioning last time, I believe, that we should settle this particular area. I'm still thinking that's the case. Not sure how we're gonna avoid our, I guess we'll have to bring our uh, guy back. We may want this one. This is a cheap little junk tech. Um, all right, what makes the most sense here, folks? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. What makes the most sense? Well, this is good. This is good for aquatic cities. We'll probably have a few of those, but we've got a lot of land first before we want to go out into uh, the ocean. Let's take a look at other things like floatstone, xenomass, and all that. Large chunk of xenomass here. Smaller chunk here. Lots of geothermal over here. Eventually we'll want to claim this area with aquatic cities. Uh, we got some floatstone down here. But really, this next city we're looking at, it's going to be Fraxite Mines, which we already have. Uh-huh. Yeah, mostly stuff we already have, so... Ideally, we probably want to grab affinity points if we can do it. Fabrication's expensive, is, but it's very useful. Bionics is equally expensive. It's also extremely useful. You know what? Let's grab Bionics. Look at the auto sled, it's a decent unit. Assuming we go that direction, I would really prefer to go something other than uh, purity if I can manage it. But we're, what we're doing, if I haven't stated already, is we're going for the quickest possible victory here. The quickest possible military victory, which that may not seem like what I'm doing, but that's the goal. The goal is to build up a civilization that is capable of waging war on the others, getting the phasal transporter up, and then just unleashing all sorts of um, hell on uh, all the other people. That's the goal. Let's get that Fraxite mine up and running. But I'd like to grow... I'd like to do a lot of things here. So if I'm going to be founding a bunch of cities, they're not going to grow worth a, 
worth anything until I have positive health here. Yep. What she said. Have some hot chocolate. And let's continue on. Oh, hydrocoral. Well, we got a lot of these guys just chilling right here. Let's get this guy over here. We need to pay very close attention. Make sure he doesn't die. Let's get you actually heading back there. We'll move you along this way. Let's see tiles are currently being worked by this city. More than what I need to... Yeah, more than what I need to make right now. So let's move you up. Let's get that Fraxite mine up and running. Success in all three uh, networks. Let's go ahead and just start siphoning off the energy. Seems good. All right, so network's a possibility. Uh, thorium reactor is probably a better bet. Stellar, Stellar Codex is still an option. I think we can also build another trade convoy from uh, Dorado here, so I'm going to do that next. Probably send it to uh, China. Get some science out of them. Yeah, maybe they'll like me. Probably they won't. So a connection between Manuel and... My capital has been broken, okay. Because formerly it was a C connection. Right now the aliens uh, are blockading it. Okay. Well, we'll fix that in a bit. Assuming the game doesn't scroll to another freaking unit. Stop it, game. Is there an option to get rid of that? Apparently not. Ugh. That is irritating. Oh shit. Them dead units right there. Yep. Unless. Barry. Do I have that agreement already for the uh, trade convoys? No. No, and I have a dead uh, rats. Well, that sucks. We can't even get around this thing going this way, too, because it'll bump into it. Okay. Good times. <laughs> or not. Okay. Cool. I thought it was dead for sure. So we want a city like right around here. So you guys move up close. We got some sort of quest going on. My relationship with her is in jeopardy as well, even though I'm doing my best to send her trade. Cave discovered. Okay.
Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, quest text here. Deep within the cave, the exploration the expedition team reveals a scientific marvel. A massive cave is home to a large Xenomass Lake. Wandering slowly above are countless floatstone boulders and jagged fraxite crystals and line the cave walls. Interesting. Against all odds, a large orb of Xenomass is found hanging in the air, held in place by the cave's powerful magnetic field. Interesting. That kind of sounds more like magic rather than science. On a floating boulder below it. Okay. Our missing soldier's gear is found discarded. Did our soldier interact with the elemental, the electrified orb? He reaches the surface of this Xenomass doorway. Our experts are unsure of how to proceed. Uh, send someone in. All right, whatever happened to our soldiers, we cannot leave them behind. We will dispatch military rescue team through the doorway to investigate the soldier's fate. Uh-huh, sure. All right, boys. You have the thankless job of going in there. Let's go ahead and let's uh, clear this out. Get a little bit more science. Send you over to this city. We'll try sp trading with China. We'll see if that works. See if Space China's in the mood for it. Get our frack set up and running. In this city. What can we build in this city? Let's get a laboratory up. See about that. Hmm, and for this one, what do we want to do? You know what, I actually want to get attack jet. I think that would be helpful. And here, let's get a thorium reactor. We're long overdue for one of those. And we are due for a uh, cut here pretty soon. I think at the end of this turn, I'll throw down a cut. And we'll continue in the next part. All right, so we'll enter the Xenomass doorway. Oh, the rescue team was gone only a matter of minutes. Soon, without explanation, the missing soldiers emerged from the Xenomass doorway. None of them remembered their ordeal, but having undergone physical examination, it is clear they now share genes with many of the local alien species. They are immensely powerful and physically altered. Let us hope that is all to have changed. Okay. I wonder what life was like on Earth when the whole atmosphere was breathable. All right, we've got uh, one for uh, Harmony here. Let's blast that guy. We can't reach that guy, so that's fine. Veterancy has been gained. Cool. Move up. And you, if you can manage it, go ahead and uh, trade with... Yeah, go ahead and uh, trade with Space China's capital. Very good. Get the colonist unit out. Hoping those two international trade units that are specifically going there will give us some positive modifiers with the uh, PAC, AKA Space China. All right, now then, develop a virtue. We've gotten to where we want to be in the virtues here. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next now. 
There's a lot of things that are helpful here. Hmm. Let's see here. So if I continue down this tree, I mean, we get some good stuff. This and uh, this and this are particularly good. This is kind of eh, but I guess it's a 10% bonus. And I think it stacks as well. I really want this one. This one should help a lot. I think I might go for these two here next. Just start finishing out the tree. Who knows, maybe I'll do the entire might tree for a change. I haven't I don't think I ever do that. Cause there's some junk stuff. Plus three orbital coverage provided by stations you have trade with. Okay, interesting. That could be helpful too. It's not super great for where it is on the tree, but eh. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we got a free virtue. Excellent. Let's grab public security. So we've got those now. And that brought us down a little bit. Excellent. So more troops now equal more health. That is good. That is a very good thing. There's. It says nothing whatsoever about you having to have a... Um, Having to have troops, your troops within your borders or within the city to actually benefit from that. So that's really good. As far as I can tell, the city will not have any benefit from settling next to the river. However, it might if it settles next to the hill. Mostly we want to make sure we're with, within range of these two frac site here. Hmm. So we can settle there, get a little science. Actually, is that a hill? Yeah, that's a hill. Let's settle right here. We'll still be in range. That'll give us more production. Oh, Susan. Quit your bitchin'. My virtue synergy. Come on, my virtue synergy is amazing. Agreement has been cancelled. Barry cancelled the agreement. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, this is going to have to be where we uh, cut it off here. I want this video to get too long, so next time, we're going to keep on building up our civilization. We're going to get city number five, or outpost number five, set up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep building military units, keep killing um, aliens for science, and who knows, maybe we'll even get into a war or two. Anyway, guys, my name's been Ybot. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and I will see you next time.